Hi guys and welcome back to the Psychic Sleuth channel. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing another reading I think on Madeline, Madalena um, Kochakari. I'm sorry if I'm saying her name wrong. I can never seem to pronounce her name right. But okay, so I worked to this case when she went missing. I think it was like last year or something. I did it live. I no longer do live readings. So if you want to watch that reading, um, that you would have to fast forward through the live part. I might clip it when I have some time, but I already did a channeling on her that was live. I'm not sure really how accurate it is, but it seems to be accurate from what um, my astrology friend told me because she went and watched it because of the astrology, because she tries to match up the readings with the astrology. But I might want to, I think I'm going to do maybe a card and a channeling on another night. I wanted to do it tonight, but I was trying to get caught up on some things. It's already two o'clock and I feel absolutely exhausted from the stuff I had to get caught up on. But once I get caught up on that, I'll have more time to do this stuff. So I'm just so far behind on things that I'm trying to catch up on things that I owe people. So um, I wanted to go over the astrology because the parents are now in jail for something else. And I wanted to show you guys what the astrology says and hopefully show you some areas on the map that um, that kind of like make sense or just show you where the lines are going and whatnot. Once I do another reading, I might be able to get more, um, you know, more narrowed down area. Um, I did try to pull some location cards, but it basically kind of just more or less says kind of the same thing. Um, other than, and, and I'll go, I'll go to that in a minute. Um, so I wanted to remind you guys, this is, a, this is forensic astrology. This is a crime chart along with the mapping. Um, I am a baby, 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 baby learning this. So I am working along with an astrologer who is teaching me as I go. That's how I'm learning. So we went through this whole chart together. I've, it's been like a week. Um, I've been trying to get to it all week because I wanted to do another reading first, but at the same time, I want to get this out and I just don't, I'm not going to get the reading done tonight. So I wanted to get this out anyways. Um, because like, I feel it's important. It would be nice if they could find her. You know, everything has, a, has a timing thing. She's got a lot of retrograde planets, which, which isn't a good thing. Um, so anyways, I'm just kind of like repeating what we went over already. So I might skip around. I will try to dummy it down. So you don't have to pay attention really to, um, the degrees and the signs, just what each thing means and kind of put it together like a puzzle. Um, but it's basically, I'm going to break it down and tell you what each thing means anyways, or each sign, each degree means. And hopefully I understand my writing now because we kind of go fast, I kind of write really fast. And then I'm like, wait, I don't know how that makes sense when I go back over my stuff. So be patient with me. Like I said, I'm learning, I'm learning this and it's spirit guided. So it goes along and tries to validate my readings. That's why I like to do the astrology and I like to do it after my readings. But since I've already done one reading on her, I think it's okay to go ahead and do this astrology and then revisit it with maybe another channeling or something. And then maybe that channeling will get us more focused on the place on the map we can go. Um, but there is a spot on the map that does hit where the mom was seen. So we found that interesting where a line does go. Now, again, this is just astrology. This is for entertainment purposes only. Um, is all alleged and just again astrology it's not factual information and viewer discretion is advised because there's going to be some things that are going to come up here that some people might be sensitive to so i just want to warn you um having to do with um what was done allegedly to her um by the man who allegedly did it so um i mean this does again align with my reading and what i felt from what i remember I don't really remember anything. Uh, I'm going to have to re-listen, but I don't want to re-listen until after, again, I do another reading because it it's better that way. So this is a huge, um, huge mystery. Um, they don't have enough evidence to fully charge the parents other than just they, they took a while to, you know, say she was missing. I think it was something like three weeks or whatnot. Um, so, yeah. All right. And again, things things are symbolic. And yes, these, these signs and whatnot can have a lot more meanings than one meaning. No different than cards and, and readings and things like that. Like, things can have multiple meanings. So, do keep that in mind. And, yeah, again, I'm just going to show you the chart. Go over it. Then we'll go over the map. 
And um, I'll tell you the cards that I got. And cards, again, can go over any part of the story. It's supposed to tell a story. It's not just direct location. So it could be areas that are significant. Like I noticed the school card came in. And that's, I think, because she was allegedly getting off the bus from school. I think she did make it home, though. And I do not feel like this is a stranger abduction. And that's not as the chart does not show a stranger abduction either. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for your love and support through uh, me struggling a little bit. And, um, you know, thank you for the people that were non-judgmental over it. And again, whenever I, I hate to ask for help, but whenever I do, I'm not asking people to give a lot. Um, and like I said, if anybody wants to donate or leave tips, that's fully on them. I will take care of it myself no matter what I got to do, it just takes some of the pressure off so I can do more cases. Um, and not, you know, not have to rely on hustling so much because when I do that, it takes my energy and then it takes away from me doing this for you guys, which I don't mind doing at all. But I just wanted to put it out there. Thank you for the, the people that have helped me out during this situation. Um, recently and understanding about the heat and me having a little bit of a struggle with it. And um, thank you for people that have been non-judgmental and have been very supportive to the channel. If you would like to support the channel, you can always like and comment on the videos. That does help it get, um, you know, more views and, and help the algorithm and helps me and my YouTube channel per month. I love to do this for free, but unfortunately, life isn't free. So it does help me in any way possible. Um, so. Again, I just want to thank everybody for that. If you anybody wants to support me below our um, it's my I have a book that I wrote. I have merchandise and all of that. It's all down below in the, the description box. OK. All right. Um, OK, so let's see if I can remember all of this. All right. Oh, I got to share my screen. OK. Like I said, bear with me. I'm a little tired, hopefully. And actually, doing astrology makes me tired, too. I feel the energy off the map. And hopefully, I'll get some some images or, or um, visions off of this. I don't know. I do whenever we work together, but I'm pretty tired. So, we'll see. I just wanted to get this information out. Okay. So, we have the Ascendant, which is always going to rule our victim. All right. Um, so, she has her Ascendant at 28 degrees Taurus which at a Taurus degree. So she's literally showing up as a Taurus, um, which is kind of interesting for a child. She could have been looked at as older, but basically um, the way that we said it is probably means to an end just for, you know, mom to have a place to live and all of that. Um, we have the sun really close over here to the descendant. Like I said, I'm going to, I might skip around a little bit because I'm going off my notes. Um, at 29 degrees Scorpio. And when did I think this is the timestamp for getting off the bus? Yes. So this is the timestamp for getting off the bus. So the reason why it's here is because things haven't quite happened yet, but they're on their way to happening. And that 29 degrees is like something's in the works of happening. Okay. So it's 29 degrees Scorpio. Um, so the guy is very much. So the guy is very much um, a disturbed person, um, and this was sexual motiv motivation, but he's a disturbed deviant is the way we like to describe him. And this was a sexual, mo sexually motivated crime, which we feel like this wasn't the only time that this was happening, that this was going on. Okay, allegedly. So we have Aries in the 12th house. It's this, the 12th house is kind of things that are hidden sometimes. Um... Chiron in retrograde is there. So there may be a head wound, which makes sense because my head hurts really bad right now. I don't remember what I got. Um, it's at a Pisces degree, so there could be some sort of um, fluid involved, uh, lungs or whatnot. I don't know. I pulled some water cards and I've seen some waters, but the, the map doesn't really... Um, go that way unless i think we extend the degrees because it's worked it works off of degrees and it has to land you know wherever it wherever you're looking for it has to land there and if you go too far 
then, you know, it kind of doesn't make sense depending on the chart. So um, there is a couple lines that go towards the water, but they don't hit national parks or areas that are really wooded, which is what I feel she's like in a wooded area. It's not a national park, it might be close to one, but um, I remember seeing water like in the distance. So I don't know if that's like a large lake or if it's they're trying to give me direction towards the water because her lines don't really go that way. So I'm a little confused. But anyways, not to get off track here. Um, that could be some sort of like fluid buildup in her lungs or something like that. Okay. So we also have our part of fortune right here at 29 degrees. Again, everything was getting ready to change. So everything was in motion and it's a 29 degrees Aries. So, you know, Aries is a very brutal, angry sort of thing to have in a crime chart. All right. So it's also getting ready to go into the 12th house. So again, violence was hidden, right? Because no one knows anything. So that makes sense. Um, we have a part of fortune. Um, is also like 29 degrees is a Leo degree. So that's like a high fame degree, but... It could be like if she's found or if everything really breaks, like there could bring more attention to it. I don't know if it was really famous when it happened. I, I can't remember. I'm kind of thinking it might be, but it might go down. Like once everything comes out, if it does come out, which it might take a while because again, she's got like six planets in retrograde. It's like the same as Noah. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Six, six planets. So that's why everything has been really slow going and there's been a lot of delays and she's not been found and all that. Um, so this might, again, bring tension when she's found and evidence comes to light. It also means, like, brutality to the head. So, which makes sense because I've got a headache. And I've been trying to kind of call her in a little bit for the cards. And um, so, yeah. But there may be um, also strangle with the north node here um, in Uranus and Taurus. So Uranus is, like, a very shocking thing. Um, and it's in a Taurus degree. Okay. <clears throat> so this is actually showing, like, again, her last few hours of life. Um, the 29, again, degree here and here mean that something's going to happen. Something is in motion to happen. Kind of similar of what we saw in the Delphi chart. Okay. So by the time the sun is into the 8th house, it's done. Alright, so it's almost in the 8th house. Like I said, it's getting ready to be. So once we hit the 8th house, because right now it's in the 7th still. Which is her vitality, but also a male, also perpetrator. But once it's in the 8th house, it's done. Okay. Um, and we'll also we have Mercury and Venus here in the, in Sagittarius in the eighth house. So Sagittarius is a foreigner, which she was her mom. Her mom was Scorpio. It's a Scorpio um, degree, and that's S E X and M U R D E R. Okay, and Venus and Mercury is. She was young, but being viewed as an adult woman because she's presenting both as Mercury and Venus. Um, and this is, again, the eighth house of death, you know. Um, And it's at a labor degree. Which labor can be a, a couple, but it can also be justice. Um, so again, with the labor degree there, it can be a delusional couple. Um, and the perp was viewing Madel Madelina as, um, a, 
as beautiful as an adult woman and child. So she was basically, he was basically viewing her allegedly as like an adult woman, even though she was a child. That makes sense. And maybe possibly even a partner of his. And she was foreign born. So again, that's why it's in Sagittarius. Um, we have descendant is, um, again, the sun. So it's masculine in her vitality. Scorpio, the dude, remember our descendant is our, is our perpetrator. Okay. Um, Scorpio is obsessed with S-E-X and M-U-R-D-E-R. About to do something bad because it's about to switch signs. Again, right here, it's about to go. It's about to switch signs, so it's about he's about to do something bad. Um. So the south node right here, um, is in twelve degrees Scorpio. Can be alcohol. He drank might have drank a lot of alcohol. Um, it's at a Taurus degree, and also the moon is here at two percent. So this does implicate the mom as being involved, um, at least in the least complacent. Uh, Taurus, it's at a Taurus degree, which is the, the two degrees right here, which money. So, you know, she probably allowed it because of he was taking care of her. She liked the nice things, stuff like that. So basically due to money and security, she was complacent. But it does implicate the mom that mom knows mom was probably involved in the aftermath and all of that. Okay, so mom knows, allegedly. Um, so we have the south node in between um, the sun and the moon, literally. Um, so this is going to be like the end of like a relationship or what's being left behind. Like the relationship is what's being left behind in the end because he's placing all the blame on her and yada, yada, yada. So, um, you know, that's why you have... <clears throat> The North Node is always going to be like what's left behind in in this in this instance. It's the relationship. Um. Okay. But literally, we have the Sun and the Moon here. So, Mom and Dad, allegedly, in our descendant. So we have the North Node in the first house means body found um, some at some point in Taurus. So like wooded type area, um, earthy type area. But it's at a Pisces degree. I'm taking I can take that as like, well, Pisces degree means there could be possible strangulation. So head and strangulation are relevant. In this, which makes total sense, and my cheek is hurting right now. Um, I can take it as like homicidal violence, kind of when I was getting like in in um, Madeline Soto. So, it's, you know, there's definitely a head and strangulation issues or things here that are relevant. And again, it's at 12 degrees Taurus. So, Aries, and right here, my cheek and my my cheek and my teeth are all of a sudden. So. In Aries and Taurus, um, same degree. So fluid, fluid buildup in the head right here with the Chiron. And they're like, we both have 12 degrees. That's, that's it. These are both at Taurus degrees. That's what I meant by that. Okay. So again, we have Uranus and Taurus at a cancer degree. So explosive or explosion in the family, something unexpected. Um, happening in the family because it's at a cancer degree. Also, this is a female reproductive system, so injury to there as well. Um, and so Uranus in retrograde can mean sexual assault. Explosive, situ explosive situation caused a breakup of the family. Uranus in the first house is also destruction to the physical body because our number, our, our first house is destruction. Our, our first house is our body, sorry. And Uranus is destruction. So this is destruction to our physical body. Hopefully I made sense of that. Um, and then we have Pluto in the ninth house over here. 
um, it's exact trying to the descendant um, at a Capricorn degree. So older authority figure, foreigner, old and so I said an old sick FUC. <laughs> um, it's a Taurus degree. So there's some money involved somewhere. Um, possibly like, again, it could just be security and also, but he's talking to the press. So that's interesting because that has, that has to do with that as well. Um, we have Mars, Mars down here in Gemini. So it's at a killer be killed degree at the second house of money. Gemini can be, and, and it's also retrograde. Um, Gemini can be two sides to someone and they like this person snapped and maybe damaged Gemini um, is also the respiratory tract. So he may have some issues with it, with breathing sometimes um, it's in the second house. So it's not maybe not something people would see, but again, the second house is like money and, and things like that. So but he might be damaged and he snapped and it's not something that he shows to everybody is what that means. So we have the third house. We have Black Moon Lilith in Cancer in community or schools. So the, the, the women in the community could have stepped in. It's in a but it feels like people were either blind to it, didn't want to see it, whatever what was going on. Um, it's at a Pisces degree. So they were. Like, pretending what they were seeing wasn't real. And this could even be, like, her family, too. And and her mom, which her mom is complacent, allegedly. But um, it could be that, you know, women women failed her. They were ignoring a lot of, a lot of stuff that they saw. Like, almost, like, delusions. As, like, oh, that's not happening. You know what I mean? They could have protected her and they didn't protect her. Like, where was the school? Why weren't they calling? Um, and also the IC line right here is at the lowest point. And that's what's hidden. It's in the fourth house ruled by Leo. So by ego, like mom, like the livelihood and the life. Man, my cheek hurts. I feel like she must have got busted in the cheek or something. Um, okay, so we have Vertex in the sixth house right here. So, basically, the couple was neglecting her health due to greed or whatever. Because it's, it's at a tourist degree, but this is Libra House. So, the couple was neglecting her health. And that vertex is kind of like a lucky point. So, that could be, there might be some kind of proof to that at some point. So we have um, Saturn is an Aquarius degree in Libra. So again, our Saturn is our physical body too. Um, but couple in Libra, Libra in the mid heaven right here in the 10th house. So it's public. This is all public stuff. And so she could be in a more public place. In Aquarius, um, you know, that can rule, like, electricity and water as well. Um, and I can go over real quick what Aquarius is. And I want to go back real quick to the Mars retrograde here in, the, in um, Gemini. So, basically, it's the second house. To explain more about the second house. It's... Um, uh, rules belongings of your subject. Um, it can also describe any money the subject had at the time or the role that money plays in the event. He might have some of her belongings. But again, that's that's him. And I, I take it also as like two sides. Like he's a two-sided person. And there's some kind of money or something situation that has to do because it's at a 22 degree killer be killed degree. 
so Aquarius again rules um like deep wells, quarries, mines, places that are involved in extraction of minerals from the earth. Um, under the rulership of Saturn, which Saturn is actually in it, it also has a signification over land that has recently been dug. Um, as an air sign, Aquarius relates to places that are high off the ground or above the general eye line. Outside, it signifies hills or land that is uneven or with eccentric skyline. Um, it can also relate to like airports, things like that. Um, Near natural or man-made sources of water, supplies, fountain, or springs. They mostly include smaller bodies of water that are remains relatively still and rather shallow. Okay. Um, so that's what Aquarius kind of rules and, and kind of an area that could be around. Also, she mentioned Taurus could be camp also camping or camping areas around there, which I had mentioned. But it's interesting because I did pull the mountain card, which my cards are all mixed up now but okay so we're over here at um pisces um oh water supply is also something that like aquarius can roll anything with like electricity and water like i did pull that so and that could just be something in the area we'll have to look at the map but um Okay, so Neptune is retrograde in Pisces at 22 degrees, kill or be killed. So it's un he's under the influence or, or psychosis of some sort. So he's either drunk or under the influence or he's un in some sort of psychosis. It's in the 11th house of social settings and groups. So probably under a bigger fog of delusion that day wasn't functioning, wasn't functioning physically with Mars at retrograde and mentally with ne Neptune at retrograde. Jupiter um, is also freaking retrograde at a cancer degree. So mom contributed to contributed. But she's convinced everybody that she's a victim and she's kept up that victim act. Um, and she's kind of working for it now, allegedly. Jupiter retrograde also. Justice in the case will be delayed. Um, because Saturn is direct, north node in the first house, finding the body is possible. And also Aquarius with Saturn can rule CCTV cameras and public. Um, and mom was actually seen at a state park on CCTV. So that makes sense. Um, Okay, so Venus rules Taurus, which is in the 8th house. And again, Sag in Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius um, was, again, she was she was a foreigner. The mom was a foreigner. But he's just an old sicko. And I don't know if you would consider, like, him foreign to, to them because they're not the same race. Um, also, like, he traveled right after. So... Um, and also Mars and Gemini is again a Jekyll and Hyde sort of energy. Okay, I hope you guys all understood that, but basically it's saying, I mean, it's straightforward to me. <laughs> basically, he was abusing her, he unalived her, mom helped, they took her somewhere, and it's it was brutal. Okay, it's basically, allegedly, how it plays out. That the, and, you know, she was kind of a means to an end. Um, and mom, mom was complacent. Whether she was afraid or she just liked the lifestyle, it comes across as she liked the lifestyle. So, it seems like there's gonna, there's gotta be some water around because of what I've seen. And, you know, I can just see water different ways. Doesn't, if it, even if I see it larger, it doesn't matter. They could just be showing me water. Um. Because the cards that I pulled for it are, um, 
I'll tell you the cards really quick and then we'll look at the map. So the cards, I got water supply, road, fire, desert. So desert can be sandy area as well. Bones inside beach could be like, again, a place with like sand and water. Doesn't necessarily mean the beach, but sand and water. Underground mountains is interesting because that also is Aquarius. Hills are high up or mountainous areas. Hidden, the church, crossroads. Um, private property is here too. That could be just where it happened. It happened on private property and the home. It happened in the home because these cards aren't always where they're at. It's also where things happen. Um, portal, because I always get that port the portal when they just vanished. A motel, hotel, school, because she was last seen getting off the bus. Um, frozen, so a place that gets really cold outside. Lost, because they, you know, they don't know where she is, so she lost and that's a wooded area with a road in that picture then we have what's interesting is it's like underground mountains outside then we have oh it goes like this underground home mountains or work mountains home my cards got mixed up so i'm wondering if it's like mountains between work and home because the mountains card is between work and home and, of course, rule higher. So, I don't know where he was working at. And I, I know he traveled that day. But I wonder where his work at or his work normally is. So, I'd be curious. Outside, frozen again, school. Because she was last seen getting off the bus. Burned. I'm afraid to say it. Because, again, fire and burned is there. Wooded area. Inside proper ve in inside vehicle. Proper burial and water. So, there is some sort of water source nearby. And she was taken in a vehicle, obviously, to be disposed of. Okay, so let me pull up the map really quick and I'll just show you what we got. Okay, so what's interesting is the line does hit where she was seen on CCTV. Now, I'm going to go to the map. I got to go move it around here. I mean... It doesn't seem she's too far because I think we only had one thing in the ninth house. Um, we did. We had Pluto there. And Capricorn. So Capricorn's old older people. Um, Pluto, he brought destruction. I don't think we really went over that. But yeah. That's the only thing in the ninth house. We don't have anything in the fourth house. So, ninth house is far. And I'm wondering because I wonder where he works besides traveling. Like, okay. So I'm going to show you where the line goes because you want to go where it ends. So when it goes through, you know, this is all done by degrees. All right. So she's pinned it over here for me. This is where mom was seen allegedly. So it's interesting that one of the lines hits there. It does hit there. I don't know. And it is mountainous. So I just want to look at this one first because she was seen on CTTV there and her being involved. Look, there's churches here. There's camping right there. Camping right there. Oh, fire tower, huh? Makes me wonder. Okay, there's water here. The reason this doesn't, it, I mean, it, it feels like it's going to be close to the road if mom's involved with it. Um, I don't know. Are there any mines around there? I'm not really sure. This is kind of where it's hitting here. I don't know exactly where 
Mom was seen on CTTV. They found they found remains out there, but it was not her. It was somebody else. Um, which sometimes happened. I mean, look, they weren't looking for um Suzanne Morifu when they found her. So it goes right through where mom was seen. Usually it's where it ends, but I just I guess she was seen on lo Lonesome. Hmm. Three Feather Sanctuary. I did pull like the zoo card, which can be just also. I feel like super tired all of a sudden. Um, hope you guys understood that chart because. I probably shouldn't have done it tonight. It's straightforward to me. But wait, is this a... Because this is water, which would make sense. I'm just looking for... And, you know, areas can be searched and people not found. And you go back and search them and they're found. That one lady that she just found recently, she was missing for like six months and they already checked. Look, it's interesting. There's a school there too. So that could also be. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I've seen it in my own cases. I've seen it in other cases where, again, she wasn't even, she was like 0.6 mile from her car. And she was missing for six months. It's interesting that it's off of a road. Like she was, what, she was seen on the road? I like to be curious exactly where she was seen. Hmm. Okay, so that's that one. We're interested in that one because mom was seen there. Allegedly. I guess that's not really allegedly because <laughs> it's weird because these all kind of hit national parks. You know, if he took her, then like he was traveling. Um, but there's got to be. Interesting. Cumberland River. Jeez, that's everywhere. My neck hurts right here for some reason. Um, I just heard easy access. It's going to be a place where there's easy access, you know? Usually these, these lines go exactly where you need to go, but usually it's supposed to end. But, I mean, I don't know. A lot of times we find that evidence is found... I mean, there's a river here. I do kind of feel sick here. I don't know if that's just because I'm tired of everything I'm doing today. Or everything I've done today, I should say. It feels like there could be a church nearby because I pulled that church card. But man, my neck just started hurting really badly. Um, So that's the other one. <laughs> Brian. And then Daniel Boone's interesting because Daniel Boone came in Delphi. Auto rights. Remember, I got multiple cases in that past, present, future. And Beaver Creek's come in before. So I find that interesting to me. Weird. And there's an air there's an airplane. There's a school. It looks like here's a lake. So again, they can't have something to do with the day or they can't have something to do with the location. Parker's Lake is actually a lake. Huh. It's kind of weird. 
But, um, oh, there's a bug. Yeah, so it's interesting because we're, Aquarius rules airports. Which this is, I don't even know what this line. Oh, this is a Neptune line. Okay, I'm curious where her Saturn line goes. Let's see. We were looking at the one where mom was seen was a Chiron. Where does her Saturn go? <laughs> I just hit it. Aquarius, right here. I've gotten London before. It's weird. I've gotten a lot of these words before. It's kind of weird. Krypton like Superman. It's weird. Ah, there's an airport there too. So Aquarius again rules airports. I'd be curious. I want to know where his work is. I like mountains between work and home. This is kind of interesting, the Saturn line. And where it's going. Because the, there's water right there. And it's wooded and it's hilly. So that's interesting. I wish it was always the same damn line every time. It would make my job a whole lot easier, but it's not. <coughs> I'm coughing. Beaver Creek, I've gotten up before. This is a state park. Um, there's a river there. It's from Sea Line. The Pluto goes. She extended it pretty far on these. I feel sick. I feel sick on this map. Uh. I just don't know where, and I don't know if I'm sick because I'm also now ungrounded and hungry. But I feel a lot on maps, and that's why I have a hard time fo like focusing in on where people are and stuff, because I feel so much from everything else that it's hard to, to zone in on that for me. Um, this is interesting, too, because I've gotten Waverly before in, in a dream, too. So I find that interesting. I just, it's going to have to be... An, an area they that makes sense too, you know. Uh, Riverside's come in a million times too. The sun is going that way. By Fredericksburg. The Descendant, which is our perpetrator. I'd be curious that they don't have any ties to Richmond area. Virginia, this way. I'd be curious. Because also the water's there, but I mean, it's like in a random spot. <laughs> I don't know anything about the guy. I'd be curious if he didn't have ties there because that rules our perpetrator. And the ascendant rolls our victim uh, here down here by the. I have to rewatch that reading because I don't really. But I think I saw water though. Some sort of water you can see. Not necessarily she's right by it, but. Um, huh, there's fair play. 
My shoulder hurts there. Yeah, I'm having a hard time zoning because there's a lot. I feel like a lot on this map and I'm struggling a little bit. Um, the IC line comes down here. And once I, I might focus in more on this and see if I can get more of an area that could be searched. This one's kind of, I don't know. Right, let me look up here because my. <gasps> Sorry, it's almost three o'clock in the morning. And yeah, I didn't mean to be. And then the Urana, the Uranus line goes in here into the this national forest right here. North node goes right here. See this. See, I could be seeing like this water even. I'm kind of really sick here. And I don't know if it's my, it's me or not. It could just be, I'm just very, um, see, you overlook water there. It's mountainous. National forest. That's another one because I'm, I feel nauseous, but again. I can't tell on the map, plus I feel kind of. This one goes way far. The part of fortune. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, she was seen here at this national forest. So, his bar or whatever the hell. Cherokee's come in before. Um, I'm kind of interested in this one. Because I know I did see water. And again, it can be any sort of water that, you know, you're seeing. That's one thing I keep, and I keep being reminded of that. Like, I don't remember anything else of the reading, but I do kind of remember that. So, it could just be something like you see in the distance, you know? So, that's our map. I don't really know exactly where she is, honestly. I'm kind of torn. Um, and I'm hard, it's hard for me to tell right now because I feel just nauseous just from being on the map. So, that's why I have such a hard time um actually finding locations is because i feel a lot of everything else and it's hard to like pinpoint so i'll try to do a little bit more work on this see if we can get a better location but you know that's what happened allegedly so that's i'm gonna get going and hopefully you like the video it feels like it was all over the place and i apologize for that um i probably should have waited to do it but again i i was kind of wanting to get it up and let you guys know, like, allegedly the guy, they're not innocent. Um, so...